In the previous videos, we created our deployment package and connected our test user device to our console by installing the Smart Deploy client. So we're ready to deploy our image. In the Smart Deploy console, I'll switch to the computer management workspace where I can see my user's computers. In my test environment, I have my one test computer connected, which is this virtual machine. This will allow us to see the whole process end to end, albeit I will speed up a lot of it so that we're not spending time watching progress bars grow. To start the deployment, I'll click to select my target machine and then click Deploy Image in the Actions pane. I can toggle the Deployment Package drop-down menu to select a different package if I have more than one. There are a few details about my package I can review here, and then I'll review a few other options I have. I can allow the end user of this computer to defer the deployment in case they're in the middle of working on something. I can even schedule it to occur after hours. Multicast is an option, but it's not needed unless I'm deploying to more than 25 machines at one time. I'm going to leave all these unchecked and click OK and then confirm so that my deployment starts immediately. Now I'm going to accelerate this portion of the video and explain what's happening. The next time the Smart Deploy client checks in with the console, it will receive its instructions to start the deployment and download the deployment package we chose. It will then restart into the Smart Deploy pre-installation environment. You'll notice that the icon next to this client changes to this teal arrow to indicate that the deployment has started. After a short countdown, the deployment will begin using the information that we provided in the answer file. The deploy wizard will locate the image on my network, apply it, and inject the drivers from the platform pack for that specific device. Once that's finished, the system will restart to complete the Windows sysprep portion of the deployment. Depending on the model and the drivers and other components of the platform pack, we may see the device reboot more than once. When the deployment is complete, we'll reach the Windows logon screen. If you elected to include application packs as part of your deployment, this is about the time that they'll be processed and those applications will be installed and tasks will be run. These steps always occur after sysprep runs and the smart deploy client has been installed. And that's the console initiated deployment. Be sure to check out support.smartdeploy.com for more videos and step-by-step -step guides and new feature demos.